Hey, what's up? This is Reed with Smart Home Solver, and today we're going to be comparing indoor cameras, talking about the Amazon Cloud Cam and the Nest Cam. And we're comparing these two because they have similar specs and they're both household names. Nest Cam has been around for a little while. We even did a review on it in the past for a, a nursery baby monitor. The Nest Cam does cost a little bit more, so you might be wondering is it worth the extra money? or can you get by with a cheaper cloud cam? That's why we're gonna be comparing these two and we'll figure out which one is better for you. So when you unbox both of these, you get a 10 foot long power cord. These are both not wireless. They do have an annoying uh, warning tag. The Nest is in a really annoying location, like right next to the camera, where Amazon's is a little bit better near the power plug. They both come with mounting kits and screws, so you can attach this to the wall. So talking about the look and feel of both of these, the Nest has a super high quality feel to it. It's made out of metal. It can bend really easy. And I like that it's all pretty much black, so it can blend in really well with like a plant or something inside your house. Cloud Cam, it a little bit plasticker feeling. It can't bend that easy. like. You can only bend certain ways without twisting. You have to twist it a bunch. And I don't like that it's white and it has black on it. So it's really hard to make this thing blend into your house. So as for the video quality on both of these, they're 1080p. But when we were testing them out, Nest video quality was a lot better. It was more consistent. It was clear every single time. Amazon's, it was clear sometimes and other times it wasn't so clear. Not really sure about that, but overall the Nest video quality was a lot better. As for the audio quality on both of them, since you can use two-way voice on these, the speaker on the Nest kind of sounded like a walkie-talkie. So when you're using the two-way voice and speaking through the camera, testing, this is sound from the Nest cam, it wasn't very clear. But with the Amazons, the speaker was very clear and it sounded similar to like an Echo Dot. Testing, this is sound from the Amazon Cloud Cam. This is Nest Cam right now. And now this is the Amazon Cloud Cam. So when comparing the night vision on both of these cameras, the Nest Cam, its night vision was a little bit blurry. The IR on it just kind of seemed like it was bouncing off the walls a little bit too much. Whereas the Amazons Cam, it was a little bit brighter and it was a little bit easier to see someone's face. So Amazon's night vision, we'd say, is, is better. When comparing the apps on both of these cameras, the Nest Cam, it has a really slick app. The timeline for it, it's super intuitive and easy to use. It has it gives you a lot more features that you can customize. Turn off the little status light on the camera. You can decrease the bandwidth on it. You can also uh, schedule when you want the camera to turn off. And it's all integrated in the same Nest app with your thermostat. So you don't have to have multiple apps. But Amazon's Cloud Cam, it's really annoying because it's another app. So it's not with the app. You can't schedule it. You can't do all those other things. Uh, it's just a, not as many features. So when it comes to notifications, Nest only notifies you every 30 minutes when it's getting motion detection. Amazon's, you can adjust that so you can be notified how often you want to be notified and you can be notified through a And when we were testing both of these out, the cloud cam notifications came in a lot faster than the uh, Nest cams did. So when talking about cloud storage and the free plans, Nest pretty much doesn't have a free plan. You can look at still images for the past three hours. When you're buying the Nest Cam, you almost have to buy the subscription because it's so limited on what it can do on the free plan. The Amazon Cloud Cam, you can get 24 hours of video playback and you can download those videos during that time as well. So when it comes to the subscription plans, they add about the same features. You can have person detection, zone detection, and you can download the videos as well. Prices, they differ slightly. Amazon Cloud Cam is $70 a year, and you can get up to three cameras with that. The Nest Cam, it's $50 a year, but that's only for one camera, and it's 50% off for additional cameras, so it'd probably be around $100 a year for three cameras. The Nest Cam though, it does come with one extra feature, which is really nice, and that is continuous video recording. So with Nest, 
aware you can record 24 7 so you don't miss anything and it's really easy to kind of scroll through and see the different notifications that you received like motion or sound cloud cam it doesn't have 24 7 constant video recording but since amazon cloud cam is plugged into power it doesn't miss extra footage like some of the wireless cameras do as for smart home compatibility Nest is compatible with so many devices out there. LifeX, with Wink, tons of other devices. So the Cloud Cam doesn't really work with other devices, but it does work with other Amazon devices like the Echo Show, the Spot, the Fire TV. So you can see what's going on on the camera on your TV or that device. But it doesn't really work with the Echo or the Dot. Sorry, cameras don't work on this device. It also has the Amazon Key feature, you do have to buy the Amazon Key camera, which is a little bit more. I don't know why there's two different devices for that. It's a little confusing. But if you have a Yale lock, you can have Amazon packages delivered inside your house uh, with that. So that's kind of a cool feature. As we've gone back and forth on these different topics on the cameras, you can see that there's some good pluses and minuses on each of them. For the Nest Cam, 24 seven video recording is awesome and it's a lot higher quality. Cloud Cam, it's a little bit cheaper and the subscription isn't as good of a value as the Nest Cam. And so for that reason, I could see going with the Nest Cam to be a little bit better option. If you want all the features, it makes a lot more sense. But if you said, hey, I don't really like a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription, Cloud Cam is a pretty good choice since you have that 24 hour video recordings. So overall, you really can't go wrong with either one of these cameras. They're both high quality, good solid cameras. A lot better than some of the other competition of the cheaper cameras out there. Hey, if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more smart home videos. We're gonna be coming out with more every single week. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, how having 24-7 footage can help you win an argument with your spouse or actually lose one.